but I can I can almost guarantee that we're going to start seeing a bunch of or an influx of calls that are going to come in over the next week or two. State Farm Insurance agent James Bing says anytime there is a natural disaster like the 6.4 magnitude earthquake in Ridgecrest, many residents start to think more about their current insurance coverage on their home. If the earthquake comes before the fire, then the earthquake coverage would take place. If the fire becomes before the earthquake, then the fire policy under your homeowners would actually take place. He says many time residents still don't understand what exactly their policy covers. What you need to understand is that you have to actually get another policy separate from your homeowners or your renter's policy to cover earthquake. Bank says homeowner insurance typically covers a variety of things like fires, theft, vandalism, electric current issues and more, but not earthquake damage. He says the cost of earthquake insurance is going to depend on the size of your home, the cost of your home, the deductible you are willing to pay, how much coverage you want to get, how much you want to pay for things lost in a disaster, and whether or not you have homeowners or renters insurance already. But a uh, new home buyer is probably going to range somewhere between three to four hundred dollars, you know, for a year. An added cost for homeowners and renters that they may not use. But Bank says it's an extra layer of security that covers more than just your home in the event that an earthquake damages your home. But your content item. And then you throw in there loss of use, which basically that means is if you now are not going to be, that house is inhabitable, you're going to need some place to stay. So that's going to have to be covered as well. But for people in and around Ridgecrest who don't already have earthquake insurance, you will still have to wait 15 days for home assistance. There's a moratorium on it at this point. So for the first 15 days between the times of January or July 4th through July 19th, you won't have it in effect, but there's a 15-day waiting period, so you'll have to wait 15 days before that policy becomes active.